Hey guys, welcome to History Behind Mzansi Football, the only YouTube channel that is dedicated to give you information about South African football by the past, present and future. I'm talking about cup competitions, clubs and clubs that are no longer in South Africa, of course. And what a better way to kick off the channel than to actually bring in the first ever video and today we're going to actually be talking about the history of the PSL otherwise known as the Premier Soccer. Remember guys, spoilers ahead. I'm going to actually cut down the story by categories so that I can explain to you by sort of like timeline. So let's get to it. Now the PSL, otherwise known as the Premier Soccer League, wasn't just always like this during the 50s and early 90s. This was actually due to the apartheid era, which was a system that would separate two races between blacks and whites. This somehow didn't just affect politics nor even affect the social life of South Africa. This would also affect other sporting codes such as rugby, cricket and soccer as well. Which the three main sporting codes would somehow not could, wouldn't be allowed to compete in regional competitions and even international competitions. This would somehow be due to the apartheid regime as well as the international isolation implemented by the United Nations due to the fact they have actually seen the chaos that was going on in the 70s in Soweto. Now apparently let's not get to politics, we're going to be talking about soccer. Now South Africa actually gave birth to two of the hugest and independent soccer leagues as it is in history. No football league of South Africa. The NFL, but I'm not talking about the NFL from the United States, I'm talking about here in Lalin, Corner Lenses in South Africa. The National Football League was the first professional association football league in South Africa and was established in 1959. The clubs that actually won this particular league eight times were none other than Highlands Park and even had clubs such as Arcadia Shepherds for our professionals, University of Witzerland and so many clubs that you can't even imagine boy that's like yo, where were they today man but gradually the league became more geographically representative due to the fact that it only had two areas of south africa that was represented such as johannesburg and Durban. But in 1962, Cape Town, clubs from Cape Town even joined the league. Well, in 1963, clubs from Bloemfontein even joined. As well as in 1964, clubs from Port Elizabeth apparently joined as well. A truly national football league was out of the question due to the apartheid system. The National Football League Division 2 was established in 1969 where champions promoted to Division 1. The league was competitive during the apartheid era and only white players were allowed to participate. However, black players did participate in the competition. The first one who actually played in the National Football League as a black player was none other than Vincent Julius who played for Cleary Shepherds in 1976 against Highlands Park. Highlands Park however didn't actually take this issue very lightly when they protested against Julius' presence but the National Professional Football League but the National Football League I'm sorry allowed him to play while the South African 
home office took no action having been convinced by Arcadia Shepherds that the story would be told around the world and cost the ruling cost the apartheid government in a bad light. National Professional Soccer League. The National Professional Soccer League was the title of South African Association Football League between 1971 and 1995. During those years, the league, however, had three com complete different organizations, which known as clubs, and apparently the only four. These clubs were none other than Amazulu, Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates and Morocco Swallows. Now the team that actually won, mostly won this league six times were none other than Kaiser Chiefs. Hi, man. However, in 1971 and in 1997, it was only four black South African teams. However, these two independent leagues in South Africa did do well over the years. That apparently something just doesn't last forever. Eh? The merge. 1978, the year after the National Football League was folded, the two leagues merged together formed a new tough flight non-racial football league in 1978 and in 1984 otherwise also known as the national professional soccer league where the white teams were allowed to field a maximum of three black players but that wasn't the case however when in January 1985 Kaiser Chiefs owner Kazam Daung lodged a complaint to the, for the unfairly 10% revenue for the testimonial match for Ace Ntongol and Jomo Son was expected to go of various administrative bodies including the South African National Football League otherwise now known as SAFA. Several clubs questioned the conflict of interest for George Tebb to be the president of the National Professional Soccer League and the South African National Football League Association at the same time. 15 of the 17 clubs petitioned for Tebe to resign as the National Professional Soccer League Chairman and the proposal for the constitution change to remove SANFA's veto rights over the National Professional Soccer League. In 19 in the 29th of January, TV told those clubs who wanted him to resign should leave the National Professional Soccer League. But in February 1985, it was announced that the club wanting to break away had arranged a sponsorship with South African breweries. The existing sponsor of the National Soccer League and the newly National Soccer League where would begin in the 23rd February in accordance with the anti apartheid principle change. Now the remaining part of the NPSL continued to coexist as an independent league. That was until in December 1995, the National Professional Soccer League was folded. The few remaining teams continued to play in the next 96-97 season in the second division of the NSL, which at that point of time became renamed to the National First Division. 
When the development of the National Professional Soccer League happened, a new league apparently emerged, and that league was none other than the PSL, otherwise known as the Premier Soccer League. Now, the Premier Soccer League is one of the biggest, and it's officially now one of the biggest leagues in South Africa, which has more class, 16 clubs better than any team league before, including with the national Premier, Prefe oh, sorry guys, including national, the national first division clubs who, however, get to win if they win the league, apparently would be promoted to the professional, to the, sorry, to the Premier Soccer League. Now, if you want to actually really know about other leagues in South Africa, I'm going to actually create video, more videos about them in the future. For the history of the Premier Soccer League, which I have to say that I was one of the one of the big fan of the PSL, and yeah, man, it was a good experience. Now, if you actually got to, to like the video, Please actually subscribe to History Behind Mzansi Football and find out what the channel is all about. Plus, you can even chair, visit the site on Facebook or WhatsApp. Please stay tuned, guys, and I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Show sure, the